All right, you guys, welcome to this training. I am super excited to share with you all. Um, we have five leaders who have locked arms and joined forces to bring you this training and share um, what we feel is our top tips for enrolling. So with us having the February join specials, not just one, but two join specials this month, we felt like it was a great opportunity to come on and just share with you all some things that we have found success it, with enrolling. So today you will hear from me, who I am Danielle. I am an executive leader with Color Street. And then we have Sarah, who you will hear from that is a senior director. Um, we have Jackie, who is a senior executive. Angeline, who is a team leader, and Anne, who is a director. And collectively, between the five of us, we enrolled 77 new stylists in 2021. So um, I am super excited about that. I'm excited to um, kind of share our tips with you, even though I truly feel like it's probably not going to be anything that you guys haven't heard before because we are no different than any of you. I mean, we might carry a title, you know, we might be, you know, like, and, and enroll 24 people in one year and sell over $50,000 in nail polish. But Anne is still working her business just like we all did or have done before. Um, so maybe what you'll hear today is just kind of a refresher. Like, I used to do that. I need to get back to doing that because none of us are spectacular. None of us have success 100% of the time. Um, we are all out there hustling just like you are and trying to be the best version of ourselves and take our business to the next level. And I truly feel like, you know, we're all stronger together. And that's why we have all come together to do this. Um, Jackie and I are not even on the same team. Um, Ann and I are on the same team. And then Jackie has um, Angeline and Sarah on her team. So it was kind of an idea that was tossed out and we just ran with it. And I'm actually super excited to do more of these combined, you know, trainings in the months to come. So stay tuned for that too. But all right, what I want to talk about before we even get started is I'm going to talk about one of the join specials, and then I'm going to turn it over to Jackie and let her share the other one. I know most of you are probably already aware of these, um, but we're just going to talk about them quickly. So the first is um, everybody that joins in February gets five free sets of nails in their starter kit. So that right there is phenomenal. It's not only 13 sets. Now they're going to have 18 sets of nails. So that is great in itself. And then when I was sharing this with my team, I said, oh my gosh, you guys, this is like Willy Wonka. We get a chance to have a purple ticket in our starter kit. And that to me, I wanna rejoin just because of that. I'm like, oh my gosh. So a hundred starter kits are going to have a purple ticket in them. And that is super exciting. I am so excited for that. And then if they get a purple ticket, um, well, it's down here. They will get the nail your day planner. And then I had to pull up a picture because I don't own one, although I should, um, but they will get this awesome little, well, I don't know, my camera's not focusing on it, but it's a beautiful little caddy bag, carrying case, whatever you wanna call it. So that's super exciting right there. And then Jackie, um, I'm gonna turn it over to you. Oh, wait, Anne has it up there. Yep, and Angeline, yep. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. See it also. Okay. So let me, um, I want to turn this over to Jackie now, um, for you to, here we go. I'm going to pin you down here. So you're on, there you go, Jackie. So you go ahead and talk about the other join special and then we'll get into the tips. Hello, ladies. Thanks for joining us this Saturday. I hope everybody's staying warm. I know that this crazy weather is all across the United States. And um, so I know everybody's probably getting a little bit of something, something somewhere, right? So yeah, like uh, Danielle said, you guys probably know about the incentive special, but I'm going to just go over it real quick so you make sure you know the heart of it, okay? You don't have to get super deep on it, but just know the major bones of it, okay? So like she said, you get the five extra sets, then they're drawing um, the Willy Wonka purple ticket on 100 that join this month. But then you guys on top of it, and I've been doing this gig three and a half years, this is the best enrollment incentive I've ever seen, okay? And they've changed them up, but this one's the best I've ever seen. So a new stylist that joins you, let's say you have a new stylist join you today. 
um, if they BQ in their first 30 days, but you're going to be getting rid of that BQ uh, like title thing, right? It's a qualified stylist. Just say yeah. 300 well, We're going to qualified stylist. Thanks. I couldn't think of that. 300 so once they um, um, BQ this month, because we're still using that terminology this month, not only do they make $75 because that's their 25% commission, right? They're going to make another $30 cash cash okay not product credit but cash then if they hit 2000 pv in their first six months they are going to earn another 150 dollars you guys that's 255 dollars like just like that okay so really in their first 35 days focus on that with them and then you can build out on the six months but focus on that first 35 days $75 if they BQ and another $30 cash. Okay. So that's $105. That almost covers their kit, right? So I usually like to help um, with the, their um, launch parties. So if you guys do that, I'm not getting it all that, but if you guys do that, um, you could probably knock that $105 out of the park, just like that. Anything. So those are the bones of it. You guys make sure you understand the bones of it. You got anything else on that, Danielle? Um, no, Anybody got any questions on just that, the incentive, the enrollment special? I don't see any questions on the side about it. Okay. Um, the other big one is if they sell the 2000 PV in their first six months, they're going to get another $150 um, cash bonus. And that equals out to be like 333 PV every month. So that's yeah. so yeah. Doable. And we're still getting into more money. Yeah. Yeah. And we can, I mean, we can more than, you know, coach people to do that. So I would just say that we need to, anybody that joins, we need to break this down and write it on paper for them and say, okay, I am going to help you maximize these incentives. This is what you can do. I'm here to help you all along the way. All you need to do is be coachable. So this is what we need to do the first month. Here's how we're going to do it because I'm a big pen and paper person, if you can't tell. So I like to reverse engineer goals. I write everything down. And when people first join me, I like to ask them, okay, what is it that you want out of this business? Like how much time are you putting into this? Um, what monthly income would you like to get from this business? Where would you like to see yourself a year from now? Because I like to know exactly what I'm working with so that I can help support them in achieving their level of success because it's never about us. Even if we have somebody enroll and it's like, oh, well, good, I needed that level one BQ. Okay, well, if they don't have a goal to BQ, it doesn't matter what you want. So we have to lock arms with them and figure out exactly what they want and make sure that we are doing our best as a leader to match that level of success that they want. And that's not to say that later down the line, they might not change their mind when they see the simplicity of this business and say, oh my gosh, I cannot believe, you know, that people just love this polish so much. And all I have to do is wear and share and, you know, all the things, but we just have to make sure that we are helping them achieve their goals. So um, all right. So I think that's all we have so far. So I guess just to kind of get going on the enrolling tips, what we're going to do is you are going to hear from the five of us that I mentioned at the beginning, and we are just going to share um, our top tip for you when it comes to sharing the business and making those enrollments. And my personal tip that I find the most success with is making sure that I am being genuine and authentic in my business. And this has nothing to do with enrolling. This has everything to do with me getting people to know, like, and trust me. Anybody that sees me, that knows Color Street, they're like, Danielle is passionate about Color Street. She eats, sleeps, and breathes Color Street. Like that is her thing. So I try to just be very genuine and be very authentic and building those relationships um, when it comes to Color Street. And that's what it comes down to is you want people to know, like, and trust you. They are not buying nail polish from you. They are buying you. There are so many people out there that sell Color Street. So you have to get to know them. You have to build those relationships. And that's really the foundation of everything when it comes to any aspect of my business is just letting people get to know me and literally sharing with everybody. And it's not that I just go out there and, you know, do a live video on my personal page, like, oh, join Color Street. No, it comes from those relationships. So 
if I have a party host, which by the way, I share the business with all my party hosts. I share the business with all of my friends who are close to me, all of my you know loyal VIPs, I share with them. I share the business with so many people because I want them to experience the abundance and the blessings that I have from this business. But um, getting to know those people. So once you get to know people on a more personal level, maybe you know that you know they were just upset because they had to pull their kid from dance because they couldn't afford to pay for the dance lessons anymore. That's when you could go to them and say, you know, Jackie, I am so upset, you know, that you had to pull your daughter from dance, but with my business and putting in X amount of time, getting X amount of sales, I am able to get this amount of income. And I would like to help show you how to do that. And something that I want to really stress to you guys, um, I don't have this on my notes, but our new comp plan that is coming out is really not designed for a discount only person. Um, this new comp plan is designed for hustlers, for people that want to work this as a business. So me personally, the days of me going to my top VIPs and saying, hey, you are ordering every month. Why don't you just join for the discount? I'm not doing that anymore because it is more beneficial for me to have those people as a constant party person. So constantly have a party link open so that they are still getting the free and discount nails, but they are also supporting my business. And then in turn, I can spoil them as a VIP and a customer. So if you have people that, you know, are just doing it for the discount or people that might be, you know, kind of, um, upset about the 15% commission until they get to 300 PV, you might want to consider having that conversation with them and just saying, hey, um, you might be better fit as a party host for me and flip back to being my customer so that I can spoil you with my giveaways so that you can have a party link open all the time to get those free and discount nails, which is why you're doing the business to begin with. And then you're saving the website fee every month and you don't have the stress of having to run your business and, you know, only getting the 15% commission. And I actually have a leader on my team who had a couple stylists that were upset with that. And she told them, she said, well, why don't you just deactivate your account, come back to being my customer. You know how much I spoil my customers. And as long as you have an open party link with me and you are wearing and sharing the polish, I will give you 15% off of anything in my stash anytime you want to place an order because that's what you would be getting as a stylist. And you're still benefiting because that person is out there wearing and sharing the polish. They have an open party link with you. So you got to just think outside the box when it comes to that. That has nothing to do with enrolling. And I just got off on a little tangent, but my personal enrolling tips is to build those relationships, be genuine and authentic because this is a social selling business and people are buying you. People are supporting you. They don't think about anything else other than you. So you want them to know, like, and trust you. And that happens through being genuine, being authentic, being vulnerable, letting them know you. You want people to say, you know, when you think of Danielle Criswell, what do you think of? People are probably going to say that, she loves coffee. She loves to preach. She's very motivational. She loves basketball. She loves baseball. She has a kid in dance. Like people are going to have all these things come to their mind when my name is spoken. So that's what you want to do with your customers is let them know you, let them know things about you, share your life with them. And then when things like that come, they're like, oh, okay. So that's my tip. I'm going to, um, let's see, Sarah, are you ready? I was going to turn it over to you next. Yeah, I can be ready. Okay. Can ready? I can hear you, girl. Okay. Um, so my number one biggest tip is parties. Um, you are not going to meet your future stylist if you're not having parties. Um, if you leave your VIP group stagnant and you're not putting fresh people in there to see your content and the opportunity and how the business blesses you, you're not going to be able to grow a team. Um, I set a goal to have at least eight parties a month. I'd like to have more um, if possible, but um, I off offer the opportunity to every single host. Um, I think that if they're not, if they are 
agreeing to host a party. They already love the product. Um, <clears throat> and a lot of times they'll either join before their party starts or if they've been kind of considering it and their party goes really well, a lot of times they'll come to me afterwards and you know have uh like oh my friends and family are already going to be buying this from you my party went really well i might as well give this a shot so um that's honestly the number one um way that i've recruited um and i also am a big believer of posting on your personal page um just having a good dance of color street and real life stuff um, because you're going to reach even more of an audience that way. So those are the two ways that I get out there and recruit. Sarah, I love that you brought up about the personal page because I truly feel like that's an area that I lack in. Um, I share a ton on my personal page, but when it comes to Color Street, I don't do a lot. And um, I was telling somebody the other day, I hosted an opportunity Zoom and um, I had shared it on my personal page and I had three people contact me wanting to join to hear more about the business. And I never would have thought about those people. And I'm like, why don't I do this more? I'm so laser focused on my business that I forget there's so much out there on my personal page and there's ways that we can share without being spammy. So I love that you brought that up. I think that's something that we all could use a little bit of work in and something that I want to say about sharing on your personal page. That is an area where you need to be very, very, very authentic. You do not want to go and, you know, see someone that did a bomb business blessing and copy and paste that and use it on your page because there's a lot of mutual friends out here and there's no other way to put it other than just being flat out tacky. Like you do not ever want to copy and paste somebody because that is taking away the purpose of this business and you will never get people to be loyal and know, like, and trust you if you are a copy paste version of somebody else. Like you have to be you, you have to be authentic. And when you said about um, offering the opportunity to all of your hosts, that's something that I do. And um, Sarah, you're probably told no way more than you're told yes, oh, yeah. correct? <laughs> but we're planting the seed. And that's something that we, we all have to remember is, you know, it's so corny, but if you plant a seed in a garden, you don't get the plant or the fruit or the vegetable that same day. Like you have to take care of it. And over time it comes. And that's something that we have to remember is if I, I share the business with Jackie today, mm -hmm. she might not say, well, heck yeah, Danielle, I got $150 sitting on my table to waste, yeah. but no, I planted that seed. And Jackie's thinking like, man, I have mm -hmm. seen Danielle's success. Man, Danielle just took her family to Disney World. I bet she did that with Color Street or, you know, something like that. Like then people, they start spinning their wheels and they start thinking about things, but they don't do that until you share with them. Or yeah. there's been people that I've shared with and they're like, you know, I really was thinking about that. I'm glad you asked me. So yeah. we really never know. Yeah. When I had, um, before I joined, I had a party and I declined the opportunity to join. I was like, oh, heck no. I am not getting involved with another direct sales company. Not doing it, no. And then like a week later, I signed up. <laughs> Famous last words is like, yeah. I'm joining for the discount. I don't have time or I'm never doing direct sales again. And then here we are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love that. Okay, well, let's see. So Sarah, thank you so much. Um, Angeline, if you are ready, I don't see your picture up at the top. So there you are. If you are ready, girl, um, I'm asking to unmute you right now. So I don't know if it's going to say, Daniel, there you go. I so <laughs> you go, go right ahead and share your tips with us. Um, my name is Angeline Cortez. I am a full-time school teacher and I do color street to help support my classroom and it's been a huge blessing um, the number one tip i can give you all for recruiting on top of what sarah has said um, also is um, 
I try to make my VIP group fun. That's how I get most of my recruits. Um, most stylists probably do like a girls night where you post a series of posts for game night. Um, I'm the opposite. I do a live bingo sale every Sunday, every Sunday. So we play bingo and then I kind of like throw like special bingo sales in there. And then I share the opportunity with them through bingo because the girls who are joining me through bingo are the ones that have supported me the most and they're excited for the bingo to happen. I mean, I'll get messages. Did you post the numbers yet? Did you post the numbers yet? So um, it, that's my number one way of recruiting is just putting fun into um, my VIP group. Um, they see me sharing fun with everybody and then they want to share that with their friends and family as well. Um, that's my number one way of recruiting is just showing them how fun it can be. Um, and they just, they just come back for more and more and more and more. Oh my gosh. I love that. I just put in the chat. I'm like, this is genius. I'm learning so much. I absolutely love hearing from other stylists like that. Seriously, we are so much stronger together. You guys, I appreciate that so much. And somebody asked if you would be willing to share that. So if you are willing to share kind of how you run that, if you would get that to Jackie and then we can get that out to um, the other teams, I'm not sure. Rachel, if you would put in the chat who your upline is so we can make sure your upline gets the information. Um, but that would be absolutely awesome. Okay, Angela, and thank you so much. I am gonna turn it over to Anne next. Anne, I asked to unmute you. Um, Anne is on my team and we all just love Anne. We look up to Anne. And like I said, she enrolled um, one third of the total enrollments that us five had in 2021 with 24 enrollments. And she had over $50,000 in personal volume last year. So, um, and just, she continues to hit the leaderboard on my team. She's always top in PV, top in enrolling. Um, and it's crazy when, Anne she's trained my team several times. And when I get done training with Anne, I'm like, you're not doing anything special. You're doing what we're all supposed to be doing, but she does it consistently and she does it with passion. And I mean, Anne is just, if you follow her on Facebook, you guys, you will see that Anne every day is shouting out her team. Um, her team's name is Ohana because it's all about family and sticking together. And um, I'm not going to steal all of Anne's story, but she just, she literally is all in with Color Street and it shows and she just attracts um, awesomeness just like her. So Anne, you go ahead and um, share your top tip with us. I know you probably have many, but um, give us your top tip, please. All right. First, thank you, Danielle, Sarah, and Angeline. Thank you all for sharing your tips. Um, these are things that I'm going to go look into. So um, back to what Danielle is talking about, before we even want to talk about enrolling, and before we even talk about what is so amazing about this, this month's promotion, is you. Let's talk about you first. Where is your mindset? How's your confidence level? Are you doing this business and are you disciplined? Are you putting in the time? If you are able to project your passion and why it is this business is amazing, you are gonna be able to bring people to you. So beyond like um, doing parties and bingo nights and things to get people um, excited and interested and in having fun in your VIP page, you have to be able to have people look at you and want to be a part of you, want to be a part of your team. So Danielle mentioned about, I constantly do shout outs for my team members uh, for any small or big achievements. It is on my personal page. It is on their personal page. It is on their VIP page. One of the things that I've noticed when I have people who do enroll um, and then also people who enroll under my downline, it's they always talk about, I want to be a part of Team Ohana. I want to be with you guys. I want to be a part of what you guys have going. So if you're doing these things in your personal page, you are already making people interested in what is this that they're doing? Um, I, want, I want to be a part of your team. Um, 
and then I, I want to bring this analogy in because my husband, you know, he's been a soldier for 25 plus years and he always talks about recruiting. Okay, so we talk about there's like the military, how they recruit. Any, any of you guys watch Jerry Maguire? Do you remember the part when he's like, show me the money? I mean, he's all sweating and everything. And you're like, oh my gosh, he just wants that client. He wants that superstar. So we, have, we never ever want to be in that position where we seem desperate, right? So the way I look at things is this. If you are that person that people want to follow as a leader, um, you are not gonna have any problem enrolling or getting people to join because they see that they can, like what Danielle says, you want them to know, like, and trust you. So when you have people in your VIP page or um, on your personal Facebook page, I also have an Instagram, if they see that you're being authentic that you are somebody that they can trust, you are somebody that they like, um, you wanna make, you wanna project yourself as somebody that is encouraging, that is motivating, that's inspired and that who is disciplined. So um, my two tips or my two, yeah, my two tips that I find, um, I do share the opportunity, which is what I post in my VIP group at least once a week, but, I am, I don't want to say I'm selective because when I approach, if I approach somebody, I want that person on my team, no doubt. Like I will put the opportunity there on all my parties, on my, on my Facebook page, but me personally reaching out to people is I'm straight out. I want you on my team. If not, it's, have you thought about becoming a stylist? So um, I want you on my team are usually the people that are my repeat customers, okay? I will reach out to them and say, I want you on my team. This is it. You know, I would explain what the, the business is about, how it could work. Now, I do want to point out this. Before you guys even start um, talking about enrolling or to even share the opportunity, go to these people's Facebook pages, go into their social media um, see what's going on in their life because the last thing you want to do is send a private message to somebody and say, hey, look at this awesome February joint special and they just lost somebody in their family. Because sometimes we tend to be like, well, this was my repeat customers so many months, but you know, with how Facebook and how the feeds are going, we don't really see all their posts. Some people don't even share certain things that are happening in their lives. So you want to be able to look at what's going on on these people on your uh, potential stylist, see what's going on in their page. And when you do reach out to them, start off with how, how you're doing. Oh my gosh, you know, congratulations. I just saw that you are going to be retiring. Talk about how, you know, ask them how they're doing first before you even come out and be like, hey girl, this is a great um, joint incentive because then that is a connection that you have with them. So, sorry, going back to, so one is my repeat customers. I come to them and say, I want you on my team. Um, not only do I say I want them on my team, I tell them I believe in them. I see potential in them. So remember when they see that you are somebody that a lot of your members look up to, they see that you are a leader within your uh, community, like, and you reach out to them and you tell them, I want you on my team. I see so much potential in you. Girl, I believe in you. You can do this. Oh my gosh. The next day it's like, and I'm going to join. <laughs> so you make these people know that you believe in them and you see potential. My number two um, tip is your Nelfi queens. So all those girls that are like posting these amazing Nelfies on your VIP pages, they're probably not the ones that are looking to make this a business, but this is where you approach it. Have you thought about becoming a stylist? Because obviously you're not going to be like, I see you doing this. It's have you thought about becoming a stylist? Um, and usually those are the ones that will join. And then you would, like you said, once you get them in, you're able to help them see where it works within their, um, their lifestyle. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's what I do. Um, I do want to mention that if you have a team 
um, so I do like monthly giveaways for my team itself. Like with they be cute, I put a bunch of them in their give in a giveaway or drawing. A lot of the girls on my team, they will share their winnings on their VIP page. Their VIPs are like, oh my gosh, that is from your director. Oh my goodness, I I want to be a part of that team. I I want. I mean the the kits already sell itself. A lot of people will just buy the kit because they want it. But what makes you stand out? What is it that people are going to want to join you? They're going to want to join your team. Oh my gosh. And I freaking love that. So <laughs> people are in the comments like, and for president and for president, <laughs> I'd vote for her. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I want to piggyback on two things. And then Jackie, I'm getting to you next. Um, this has been, I'm so excited you guys. I don't know about you, but like, I'm getting so much excitement from this training. I'm learning so much, but something to just piggyback off of what Ann said. And I was getting ready to like raise my hand and see if she would call on me like I was a student, but she brought it up and I knew she would because I forgot to mention that Ann is a martial arts coach and she is a military wife. So Ann does not play. I mean, Ann is like, she is adamant and will be like, Danielle, I want you on my team. You, you know why? Because X, Y, and Z. And I know you can do it. You can do this. And I mean, she'll like talk me right into it. Like I can do it. Okay. I can do it. But Anne does not play. Like she is very adamant. And a lot of times you guys, you know, as women, and I'm going to just say women because it's all women on here right now. The one thing that we lack is belief in ourselves. So when you tell somebody, I believe in you, I know you can do this because and then when you have that relationship, then you can tell them, like, I believe in you because, girl, <laughs> I'm trying to preach right now. Okay, go sit down. But when you tell people that you believe in them, then it changes the whole aspect of things because they know that they have you in their corner because you don't know what their home life is like. Maybe they have a bad relationship with their spouse. Maybe they feel like they're a horrible mom. Maybe their confidence is in the garbage. All the things that Ann talked about, like maybe they don't have a good mindset. They don't have the confidence. They don't have the self-esteem. You, you do not know. So when they hear that and people, you guys now more than ever, they need community. They need support. They need what we have. And when they see that success, like Ann was talking about, you know, sharing things on your personal page, like if you made it to Leader Summit, if you achieved um, the incentive trip, if you bonus qualified and got a shout out from your upline, if you hit the comma club, you guys, these are things that we need to be sharing because dag on it we accomplished something big so even if you just drop that in your stories you know thank you so much for everybody that has supported me um because of you i hit 300 pv last month and i couldn't be more appreciative i share a lot of stuff with my vips and i'm like look you guys because of you i got this jewelry you know when they did the bq incentives or because of you guys you know i can put her in travel um hip-hop or you know things like that because when people know that they are supporting a person a family a child and not supporting some ceo at walmart you know no offense to whoever their ceo is but people get relatable and people realize like oh my gosh you know and then you have to be appreciative you have to show gratitude you know because without our customers we are nothing. So um, I just had to drop that in there. And when we show that success, people will attract. People will, your vibe attracts your tribe. They will be attracted to you. And they will eventually want to know what the heck is going on. Like, what is Jackie doing with her team? Like, I have seen Jackie shouting out all these girls that are promoting. I see Jackie shouting out 50 people on week one of the month that have over 300 PV. Like, she's a bomb leader she's got a dynamic team i want to see what she's doing like people are going to get curious and somebody put it in the chat is um people are watching you have to remember that people are watching um you know typically th this is just an example i'll post something on facebook about my kids 200 people like it i post something about color street 50 people like it but guess what? Those same 200 people that liked my other post are still seeing the 50 likes on the other post. You get what I'm saying? Like people are still seeing our stuff, but you got to remember too, some people get excited about seeing, you know, a cute little six-year-old girl doing hip hop. And then they see my mug sitting over here like, 
and they're like, oh, I don't want to see that crap. And they just keep scrolling. So don't take it personal. Be bold and keep sharing. Um, all right. And my last tip before I want to turn it over to Jackie, because you guys already know I got my name honestly about being the Color Street preacher. Um, and Anne's about to go on the road with me as the president. So I'm going to be the preacher. She's going to be the president. And I hope y'all give us your vote because we will keep showing up if you do. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Um, the last thing I want to tell you guys, and this is so true, and I know more people than not need to hear this, it is not your job to convince people to join. Please, please remember that. It is our job to share this polish, to share this business, to share how it has blessed you. It is not your job to convince somebody to join. If you have to do that, Think about what it's going to look like when you are coaching that person as a stylist, when you are leading that person. I've been there, I've done that. So please remember that if you have to keep reaching out to that same person and following up and begging, you are letting Jackie's and Ann's and Danielle's and Sarah's walk right by you because you could be out there partying, reaching all of those people that need this business and want this business, but you're hung up on that one person that you're trying to convince to join that obviously isn't respectful of your time and darn sure doesn't care about this business. So just keep that in your back pocket. I'm done talking. I'm putting Jackie on and Jackie, you are going to unmute and you are going to mic drop for us. Let's go. Mic drop. <laughs> hey ladies. I'm so excited for this. And let me tell you something. I've been over here taking notes from these four rock stars, like uh, my pen's running out of ink. Let me just tell you, I'm so pumped about this chat. And next, I'm going to talk Angela into playing bingo with us one night so we can learn what she does, right? Because I think that would be fun, right? Yes. Okay. So let me get into my top tips because this is my favorite topic, you guys, is recruiting. I love this topic. Um, I got into this business. This is my first, let me just say, this is my first MLM. I've never, or social selling business, right? We have to change our, um, well, our wording, right? So social selling business, this is my first run. And I had no idea what I was in for, but man, I love it, right? So um, here is my number one tip. Get your pins ready. You guys, if you are not offering this gig to every single person you know that wears color street your neighbor your vips your hostesses your mom um it, it doesn't matter if you are not offering this gig to every single person you know you're making the decision for them mm -hmm. okay don't do that if here's my my number one thing you guys i offer it to everybody if you come within three feet of me and ask me out my nails it's on like donkey kong you have stepped into my office and we're gonna have a conversation right so um i have recruited in airports i've recruited i went to buy a dresser i recruited the girl that i bought the dresser from i have recruited in the post office um it's endless um so that's my number one tip. You have to offer the opportunity to everyone or you're making the decision for them. And like Danielle and Anne, and I, I believe all four of them said, you guys, um, you're going to get more no's than you are yeses, right? But you're planting those seeds, okay? I don't leave home without samples, opportunity brochures, and catalogs in my purse, you guys, because once they've stepped into my office to talk about na my nails, and plus I have about 10 sets on me all the time. They're getting a package from me right then, right? And usually I sell two or three sets to them, okay? But now I'm going to get them in my VIP group. I'm going to friend them on Facebook. Oh, I'm going to wrap my arms around them, okay? And once we start having that authentic um, communication back and forth, I reach out, how do you like your nails? You know, we, I build that relationship then then it's on then they follow me on facebook which is what i want i did lose my facebook about two months ago somebody hacked me so i've had to start all over but 
I'm no quitter. So um, I lost my following, my friends, all of my memories, my photos. I was sick over it for about 20 minutes and then I moved on, right? I got to move on because this business is social selling. So I'm just rebuilding, which is fine. But you want people, I think Danielle touched on it, you guys, your Facebook page. If you guys followed me before, um, you know that I'm a crazy, I love to share on Facebook. So you want to take, um, get five good topics, at least four good topics that interest you. And of course, mine is my relationship with my husband. Um, he could have his own show, honestly, you guys, but people love following our show. Does it have anything to do with color street? No, but does he support me and talk about that? Yes. So it kind of does. Right. So my number one tip was if you're not offering it to everybody, um, you're making the decision for them. So, and then I kind of already touched on it when I'm out and about you guys, make sure you're carrying samples, sets, opportunity brochures and catalogs. It will all fit in your purse. I mean, my purse is the size of a piece of luggage, but you can have a little purse and fit a few of that in there, right? Okay, and business blessings. You guys, I swear by it, and, and I'm gonna be honest. When I first became a color straight stylist, I would follow my upline and like her uplines, and I'm like, this is crap. Bus business blessings are crap. I'm not doing that. It doesn't attract anybody. You guys, it attracts everybody. But the thing with them is you have to be consistent. Like I can throw a business blessing and get two likes, but I'll guarantee 200 people are seeing it, right? So I'm going to throw another business blessing. By the end of the week, I'm trying to get two out there. Um, so business blessings once or twice a week, um, for sure. And it doesn't always have to be about money, you guys. And honestly, you kind of want to stay away from that right now. That, that's kind of a hot topic. But if you are throwing any kind of claim out there, make sure that you're um, covering it with our disclosure, okay? Um, my business, my biggest blessing from this business is definitely friendships. I had no idea what I was about to embark on um, as far as these lifelong friendships that I've made, okay? So is the money nice? Yes, that's what we got in this business for, right? You guys, we all wanna make money, right? But I didn't know I was gonna end up with best homies that live in Ohio that I talk to every single day or, you know, or I can just message them at midnight and they won't get it till tomorrow morning, but they're not mad at me. You know what I mean? So, um, you guys throw those business blessings out there like Tic Tacs. Okay. Show your nails, business blessings and offering the gig to everyone. That's what I'm going to share with you guys today. You want to touch on that, Danielle? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Um, so I do want to add just one more thing. Um, and this gets back to like stories and being relatable. When you shout people out, make it a story, make it as personal as possible. So um, just for an example, I had somebody join me way back when, and I always ask people, why'd you join me? They said, because you're a mom to three, you work full-time as a nurse and you still found success with Color Street. And I was like, wow, that's because she knew me. I wasn't sharing that on Facebook, but let's say, you know, Jackie's on my team and Jackie earns the incentive trip. And I'll say, you know, I really want to recognize this rock star on my team. Um, all while she is raising five kids, working full-time as a nurse and slinging nails on the side, she has earned an all expense paid trip to, you know, like throw the personal touches in there because you don't know who's on your page that's seeing that. And they're like, wait, Jackie has five kids. She's working full-time as a nurse and she earned this incentive trip. How is she doing this? And they're going to get curious. And they're going to find out. And that goes back to, you know, when I joined. Both my boys were in travel sports when I joined this business. I had a two-year-old girl. I was running my husband, husband's construction company from home. So that was like a full-time job of its own. I was working as a nurse and I still fit this business into the cracks. And that's besides money, that's the biggest objection you guys are going to get is I don't have time. And that's our job to be relatable and say, you know what? I completely understand how you feel. I honestly felt that same way when someone shared this with me. But what I've found is 
And then you tell them, you know, this is what we have in place for you to succeed. And you can talk to them about all the ways that they can fit this business into the cracks of their fa their family, their life. So um, that's the only thing I wanted to share. Um, so let me real quick touch on that yeah. because that's a perfect example. Last week, um, Sarah and Angeline, oh, Sarah's already earned level two, but la I'm a little behind because that's how I roll. But Sarah and Angeline both earned the trip. And those personal touches, what I put in there was nurse, teacher, five kids between them. You guys, because what people are reading, they're not reading nurse, teacher, five kids between them. What they're seeing is, damn, if they can do it, maybe I can do it, right? Yes. So throw those little tidbits in there when you're shouting somebody out. Yes. And something else that I want to add, you all might have seen it. If you haven't, when you get done with this, you need to go look in the official Color Street group about the training where someone was talking about us being bold like the Girl Scouts. If you guys haven't seen it, she talks about how we need to be bold in our business, just like the Girl Scouts are, because y'all know when you leave a store and then cute little Girl Scouts are out there offering cookies to everybody and they do not think twice to approach every single person that walks out of the store. And they're probably told no 90% of the time, unless my husband's with me and he buys the whole freaking table, but they're told no all the time, but they're still smiling and they're onto the next one and onto the next one. And they do not let that stall their momentum when they hear the word no. So that's something that I've been embracing in my business is that I need to be bold. And a lot of times people talk about being bold and being brave. And this is something that my pastor just talked about last week at church, um, because our motto for this year is be bold, be hope. And he's like, you guys got to understand that being bold is being proactive. It is being bold about something before it even happens, like being excited, being passionate. And people are like, well, I'm brave. Well, brave is reactive because brave is when you're like backed into a corner and you're scared to death and you're like, oh, I'm still going to stand up. I'm going to be brave. Like we need to be bold. We need to be proactive. We need to be excited and passionate about this business and what it has to offer. Because what if somebody hadn't offered this business to you? Think about that. And what Jackie said, if we're not sharing with people, we are making the decision for them. Why would you do that? And why would you not want to share this business? Because I'm sure it's blessed every single person that's watching this video. So that's really all I have. And Anne's probably laughing right now because when I train my team, I'm constantly like, that's all I have. And then I'm like, oh, wait, one more thing. Oh, that's all I have. That's all I have. And I say it like 10 times before I'm done. Um, but I'm going to look over. Uh, Danielle, uh, can I add something to that? Yeah, you sure can. Okay, so piggybacking off of what Jackie and Danielle says is, Another thing, be brave, be bold, but also be intentional. So I want to yeah. share you guys uh, something that happened to me two weeks ago. Uh, my daughters are also wrestling. Um, it's wrestling season. In the middle of this wrestling tournament, on the bleachers, I intentionally did my Manny yep. right there. I was doing my Manny. I got women behind me and on the side of me like, what is she doing? I got four women to join my VIP page and right on the spot, a woman placed an order. Like they've never seen color street. So be intentional. Like if you have to purposely and what you're also showing them is how easy it is to apply these nail strip without having tools, without having, a, I was doing my nails on my lap. I'm showing it them. So one of the ladies is she's interested in the business because she was like, I could do this when I'm out and about. How easy it is for me to show people what this product is. So be intentional while you're also bringing your samples to pass out to people. Yeah, I love that, Anne. Um, I wanna answer a question from Patty. I've been trying to keep an eye on the chat. Um, and Anne, you'll probably be a good one to answer this. She said, what if you don't have good business blessings? What are some other business blessings besides money, friends, or a team? Um, your business blessings could just be you showing that because you have this business, you have time. Um, I, okay, so I don't know, a lot of you guys don't know this, but I, I decided to make Color Street my, my full-time passion. I left my job in the mental and behavioral health um, in, um, um, position to do this because 
I found I found joy in this. So how you could share the blessing is also what it's been able to give you more time with your family. So um, you could just share if you don't um, share like you're able to in the middle of the day or in the weekend that you're able to have this time with your family or like Danielle talks about, um, you're able to um, provide or pay for like dance lessons. So it doesn't necessarily have to be about income or a trip or um, your, you know, a new promotion. It could just be little things that you are doing in your daily life and especially share your family. Like they want to see pictures of your kids and what you're doing. Yeah. Another thing was that I um, shared last week was my husband is coaching our daughter in basketball. And during her basketball practice, I was there, I was present, I was paying attention, you know, in and out. But while we were at practice, I was able to set up an event in my VIP group for um, the substance use disorder nails, send out an email from the virtual office, um, message my top VIPs, schedule posts for the next day in my VIP group. And I shared that like, look, we were sitting at basketball practice for 45 minutes while watching my daughter practice. I was able to do X, Y, and Z, like letting people know that you are able to fit this business into the cracks of your life. And there can be anything, you know, anything that you can think of that has to do with this business, you can share. And Jackie is a bomb business blessing person. So Jackie, what would you add um, to well, that? business blessings? I mean, like I said before, and touch on it, it doesn't have to be about money or friendships, even though friendships is my favorite. You guys, I haven't went to a nail salon uh, besides to get a pedicure. Like I don't spend money at a nail salon. I mean, a blessing, a blessing can be that we get our nails for free as stylists, right? So it yeah. can be tiny, tiny things um, that not only do I not pay, that frees up time for me from going to the salon to get my nails done, right? So if it, time, it, it gives me more time. So it can be anything, you guys, anything that you could possibly think of that um, you could tie color straight to. I mean, definitely, I mean, getting on this zoom call this is a blessing to me right because i know i'm going to grow from this zoom call so uh this this just stuff like that you guys yeah or you could do you know on thursday when we get paid you could you know if you if you like coffee like i do you could go to starbucks and get a coffee and be like it's always nice when i totally forget that it's payday thanks color street yeah. for this coffee you know and it doesn't have to be a huge blessing i mean what if your weekly commission bought your dinner for the night or, yeah. you know, put gas in your gas tank? It, people think that, you know, only leaders or highly successful people can share business blessings, but there is so much more to this business than just having a team or, you know, making a substantial income or anything like that. There's so much that this business does for people. Um, and I want to touch on what Ann said about being intentional, you guys. Um, you know, when my husband and I have like date night, I leave the house with naked nails. I don't have anything on. Why? Because I have the set I want on in my purse and wherever we go to eat, that's where it's going on. I have enrolled three or four bartenders and at least two or three um, servers. So be intentional. Okay. Take yeah. that stuff with you. Go naked. Go naked. Yeah, I want to share um, something Bethany Vargas said in the chat is um, about the business blessing. She replied to it. She said, a fun escape, something that you do that is for you and making connections with new people. Yeah. There are so many people I hear stories from, not just on my team, but they say, you know, before I had Color Street, I didn't have an outlet. Like this has been my outlet. I get to talk to other women. I get to have something for me or like that stay at home mom that doesn't have a purpose. And, you know, they get this little side gig where they feel like they have a purpose and they're able to work a business. They're able to contribute a little bit to the family or just have that outlet, that me time. So there's really, there's so much and you can't stay laser focused on just money and just, you know, having a team because there's so much more to this business. And at the end of the day, if you can't think of anything fun post something that this business has done for you to bring joy into your life or bring fun. Because I know 
I personally have fun with this business all the time. And if I say this and you're like, fun, what are you talking about? If you're not having fun with this business, you are doing it all wrong. So you have got to take a step back yeah. and evaluate your business and say, wait, why am I not having fun with this? Like I used to have, and it might be because you are spreading yourself too thin and you are overwhelmed and you are focusing in areas that don't need your focus right now. And you need to step back and get really good at one thing and then do something else and do something else and stop trying to have irons and so many different fires at one time. Oh, Anne said, do your nails in public. You get yep. people curious and they see how easy it is to apply. Always. Yes. Okay, so let's see. Um, does anybody else have anything that they want to add to this? If not, I'm going to wrap it up because we have been on about an hour. Um, I knew we wouldn't be able to keep it to 30 minutes like I <laughs> wanted to. This has just been such a dynamic training. Oh, I, good. I don't know about you all, but I have like, two pages of notes down here. And I am just so excited about this. I would love to do this more often. Um, I just, I love it. This has excited me and made my day. I love it. I'm going to talk to Angela when we get off and we're going to schedule a bingo. She'll do bingo for us and then we'll just know how to do it. Right. Angela, you in? Thumbs up. She said thumbs up. She's in. Cool. Cool. I'm super excited about that. That would be fun. She Jackie, is definitely our, our game night queen. She yeah. was, you know, hit circle of excellence last month. She earned the trip. Like she was our only circle of excellence last month. So um, she's on fire. Her game nights are the bomb. That's what we should do, Jackie, for the next training is get like four people that do outside of the box things like that in their groups and have success because we all like typically go through the motions and just do the same things over and over and yeah. over and just to have something like that that she's doing that we could all just mix things up with like that would be so much fun just to learn and like I just said fun bring the fun back to our business and change things up do things differently I would love that so yeah Jackie you and I will get together after this training and figure out okay. Um, when we can do this again, but that that will be super exciting. I'm here. Is for everybody that. down for the next training to be about game nights in our VIP group? Yeah, That's a good place to start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or we could just call it bringing the fun back to your group and have different yeah. people share. Yeah. you know how they keep things, you know, fun, interactive in their groups. Because I know. Me personally, my interaction has gone down big time. So I'm sure Me too. You know, most people are seeing that across the board. So um, that would be awesome. And something else I would love to hear about is if there's anybody out there that is doing things outside of Facebook. I know I personally would love to hear more about people taking advantage of like Zoom, maybe like Zoom game nights or Zoom parties or things outside of Facebook, because I know um, me personally, I get on Facebook to work my business and then I'm out because I don't like the negativity. I don't like, you know, yeah. all the jazz that's happening on Facebook. So I work my business and I'm out because I'm not allowing that negativity to consume me. So um, Amanda said, I need new game ideas. Yes. Tracy okay, so it looks like game ideas for VIP group. And then I love what Bethany said, coffee shop gathering for Zoom parties. I love that. Ooh. Okay, it sounds like those are our next two Zooms. It's like how we party differently, like text parties, messenger parties, Zoom parties. So yeah, I'll get with you, uh, Danielle, and we will um, get some ideas rolling. Yes, I love this. I'm trying to read through the chat because I am. Um, is this one on your team, Jackie? Um, oh, where'd she go? She has to be because it's Angeline that said it. Tracy Pauling, Pauling is also she's on my, oh, she's amazing. Costumes. Yeah, write yeah. that down, Jackie. That we need okay. to follow up with Tracy. Uh, she's yeah, under Angeline. Tracy is um, one of the. I think she might be the first person I enrolled actually. So. Um, she is great with games. I gave her the game ideas and she just grew with it. Yeah. She's awesome yes. at games and she likes to dress it up. Yeah. She's <laughs> our costume. She kind of reminds me of Jesse Duncan. So <sighs> yes, that would be so fun. Much fun. Yeah. And okay, then Bethany said exciting. she needs yeah. to share. 
Okay. Well, we got some good ideas then, Jackie. I love this. Love this. So when we get done with this, Jackie, I'll message you and we'll get something set up for the next one. So, all right, you guys. Well, thank you for hanging out with us. I definitely hope that you, you know, took something away from this. If you would um, connect with your leader or me and let us know your takeaways, because I always love to hear, you know, what people took away from the trainings, but I know I have so much, I don't even know where to start. So I'm going to get my mind right and get my notes sorted out. And then I'll get with Jackie and we'll get the next training set up. So you guys have um, a good Friday and a great weekend and we will see you soon.